This here is tulip tree. It's not native to Kinky County, but it's native to right across the border into Indiana. In fact, uh, this is the state tree of Indiana, and it was the state tree of Kentucky, but I think they switched to the Kentucky coffee tree. But anyhow, it's a true forest tree, meaning it wants shelter and to have, you know, some shade in the younger part of its life. Uh, it's not fire tolerant at all like the, the oaks and hickories are. And, uh, well, that's because it has that smooth bark. And just recently, because of a disease that's been hitting all the American beaches in the eastern portion of the United States, uh, there's been a big effort in Michigan to replace all the spots where American beach, you know, paired with sugar maple in the closed forests. There's been a big effort to uh, introduce tulip tree because it normally wasn't native to middle and northern Michigan uh, to fill in the niche that American Beach uh, filled. So the whole state did this big planting of tulip tree. And this is probably descended of a tulip tree somewhere down the trail on one of either that way or that way from here that was planted in memory of someone. I'm guessing the seed of that seeded up over here. It's a good tree. That that pause is me smoking in a, a Toro Fuente cigar. But uh, because every so often in these type of forest preserves, they clear the few feet on either side uh, so it's not the trail's not so dense. So this is probably going to get destroyed. So one time in this situation, I dug it up and tried to save it. Uh, but this time I'm going to try something else. Because, you know, it's right next to the path. I'm going to put this tree tube on it to give it some kind of shelter and protection. So maybe when the people are uh, clearing the sides of the trail, they might recognize that this is an important species and leave it. Tulip tree sometimes called yellow poplar.